Здравствуйте, зеленые собаки! And welcome to a combined week 14 and 15 flipped classroom. I am so proud of how far we have come so far this semester. I cannot even believe that it's almost over, but we have a few weeks left to get in a lot of language. Next week is going to be our Thanksgiving holiday, so we're really going to focus on finishing up with how people look and what they are like, so that when we come back from the Thanksgiving holiday, we'll be able to spend all of our time really practicing the sentences, practicing how we combine them together in an interview type format, and, uh, and really getting a handle on this new writing component that we're working on. So I'm really excited to see where we go with this, and I'm really happy about it. So first, let's take a look at the week 14 material. That is to say, how people look. Now, we've talked a lot about it in the past week in terms of hair color, eye color, age, uh, and, and height, right? We've talked a lot about it in terms of our villain, especially. But I wanted to go ahead and see if we could uh, talk here for just a few minutes about uh, those words to give you the vocabulary and to give you the sentence to listen for. The sentence to listen for is как family member выглядит or как он выглядит, как она выглядит, как мама выглядит, как папа выглядит, как брат, сестра, бабушка, дедушка, дядя, тетя, двоюродный брат, двоюродная сестра выглядит. That's your key word when we're listening for how people look. That's what you're listening for in an interview or on paper. All right, so when we're answering that, we have several different possible answers, and we filled in a lot of them in our villain sheets uh, over the course of the last week. So let's look at them here. If you have your, your sheet with you, right, come straight from the unit. All right, so first of all, we have volosy. Volosy. Svetlia volosy. That's right, it's blonde hair or light colored hair. Tiomnia volosy. Dark hair. Rizhia volosy. Red hair. Karichnivia volosy. That's kind of the kind I have, right? Brown hair. Then glaza. Galubia glaza. Karie glaza. Zelionie glaza. Ili jolta zelionie glaza. Now, we've gone over the hair color and the eye color, but the thing to remember is that third person, just like I wouldn't typically say, у меня или у тебя, now we're going to use what? That's right. У него for males and у нее for females. У него, у нее. Those are the key third person uh, constructions that we're, we're going to be using. We talked about it in our grammar blast, but here it is for you in the flipped classroom. Then let's talk about height. Two words to describe it. We use on или она, низкого роста или высокого роста. We know both of those from the first unit, but it's helpful to review them because we've used ya and te, but now on, высокого роста, она, низкого роста, or vice versa. Then we want to add in that age piece. We know how to use number plus liet, but do you remember the third person pronouns? That's right. Just like with nravitsa, we use ye for female and yemu for male, right? So ye sorak liet. She's how old? That's right, 40. Yemu trinadzit liet. That's right, 13. Then we have a few other physical descriptors that I'm just going to give you here in this video. One, hudoi. Hudoi. It's the word for slim. Then, tolstoy. Tolstoy is plump. Then, stary. Как старый человек, у него есть борода. Stary is old. Mm -hmm. Молодой, молодой ребенок is a young child, right? A молодой. Then, of course, красивый is beautiful and simpatichny is good-looking, cute, um, something in there. 
So that's all of the physical descriptors. On and ana, ye. All right, let, I'll go backwards. On ana, yemu ye, unyevo unyeyo, depending on if you're describing someone who is male or female. So those are our physical descriptors. That's how we are going to be describing. Remember, kak on vigladit, kak ana vigladit. The second thing that we're going to be discussing in this lesson are the personality descriptors. It feels like we've been describing personality all of the time since day one, but here we're adding in a few other really strong personality descriptors. Let's go over them. They're in this bottom box down here in your unit. And the same question as before is what we're going to use. Kakoi on, kakaya ana, kakaya tvoi papa. Kakaya, tvaya, mama, right? Kakoi, kakaya, which are what kind, right? We were talking about personality descriptors. So let's go over these. Sportivny, sportivny, sporty. Artistichny, oh, sorry, artistichny, artistichny, artistic. Make sure you get that pronunciation right. It can be a real tongue twister. Druzhelubny. Druzhelubny. It's friendly, right? Friend loving, as we pointed out when we went over it the first time. Razgavorchivy. Razgavorchivy comes from that razgavor, right? Razgavorchivy. We know plenty of those kinds of people. Abshitelny. Abshitelni is a great word for outgoing. It means that you have a really outgoing personality. Skromni is the opposite of abshitelni. Skromni is modest. Skromni. Seriously, which we know from unit two, along with smishnoi, which we also know. So we have all of those. Let me go through them one more time. Sportivni. Artistichny, druzhelubny, razgavorchivy, abshitelny, skromny, seriozny, smishnoy. Excellent. Just remember the question words. Kakoy, kakaya, for our personality descriptors. What kind of person are they? And then, kak on vyglidit. Kak? Anna Vigledit. Excellent work. Excellent work, my friends. So it's been a long lesson for this week, but next week is the Thanksgiving holiday. We're really looking forward to that, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun for you. I look forward to seeing you in class tomorrow for some more fun games, songs, and of course, Russian. Das Vidanya.